ladies and gentlemen good day and welcome to pnc infotech limited q3 fi 2021 22 earnings conference call hosted by dm capital advisors limited as a reminder all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes should you need assistance during the conference call please signal an operator by pressing star then 0 on your touchstone phone please note that this conference is being recorded i now hand the conference over to mr mohit kumar from dn capital advisors thank you and over to you mr kumar thank you neeru good afternoon on behalf of dm capital i welcome you all to pnc infra q3 fy 2022 earnings conference call from the management side we have with us mr yogesh kumar jain managing director mr b sahani chief financial officer and vice president finance dr dk uh, mr dk maheshwari to begin with we'll have opening remarks from the management followed by q and a over to you sir yeah good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to all present on the call to discuss one quarter three financial year 22 our financial results along with me i have mr t r rao director in fa dr bhupin sani cfo and mr dk maheshwari bp finance and strategic growth advisors our investor relation advisors i hope everyone is safe and taking all necessary precautions to protect yourself and others i will first share my views on key sector development and highlights and then share operational and strategic financial highlights from the company do overall highway bidding activity by nhi has been active during financial year 22 the awarding activity by nhi has been a bit subdued during january and first half of the february it is expected that awarding activity will be picked up by nhi during the next one and a half month of financial year 22 to match financial year 21 figure of 4818 km in the recently announced union budget government continued its focus on infrastructure sector across the sectors as per the budget announcement the national highway network in the country will be expanded by 25000 km in 2223 with emphasis on road development for accelerated socio economic growth and employment generation government increased allocation for development of roads and highways by 69% to rupees 1.98 lakh crore in financial year 23 budget from 1.18 lakh crore initially made in financial year 22 budget in the comparison to budget of financial year 22 absolute increase in allocation towards road sector has been rupees 81000 crore out of which increase in allocation to nhi being more than rupees 76600 crore a proposed increase of national highway network and substantial increase in budgetary allocation for road sector in a sign of encouragement and inspiration to the highway development firms in the country pm gati shakti master plan will encompass the seven indians for multi modal connectivity in the country with speedier implementation of the project through technology digitization and networking to facilitate faster movement of goods and people so that overall logistic costs are reduced government also allocated to be 60000 crore for financial year 22 23 for jal jeevan mission to provide portable water to 3.8 crore household in villages in the budget government also announced that the dark dpr for river linking five river linking project has been finalized which include ganga jal pinjal tapi naranda godavari krishna krishna pinar and pinar kaveri fast tag based toll collection picked up significantly in quarter 3 financial year 22 and these record high monthly collection at rupees 3679 crore in december 21 which roughly translated into an average daily collection of rupees 119 crore per day 
एज पर दी डेटा रिलीज बाई द नेशनल पेमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया दी टोल कलेक्शन इंक्रीज रुपीज फाइव जीरो टू करोड़ इन दिसंबर ट्वेंटी वन ऑन मंथ ऑन मंथ बेसिस विच वॉज प्राइमरली डाइवन बाई इंक्रीज इकोनॉमी एक्टिविटीज लेड बाई फेस्टिव सेशन एंड स्पॉट इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्टिविटीज नाउ कमिंग टू दी की अपडेट ऑफ द कंपनी ड्यूरिंग दी क्वार्टर द कंपनी रिसीव एलो ए फ्रॉम एन एच आई फॉर कलेक्शन ऑफ यूजर फी एट किलोमीटर वन थर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर लॉन्ग ईस्टर्न पेरीफेरियल एक्सप्रेस वे फी प्लाजा इन द स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा एंड उत्तर प्रदेश फॉर वन ईयर फॉर ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ रुपीज थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन करोड़ ऑल्सो ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जनवरी ट्वेंटी टू द कंपनी इन जॉइंट वेंचर रिसीव एलो ए फॉर थ्री न्यू ए पी सी प्रोजेक्ट नेमली सर्वे डिजाइन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ डी पी आर कंस्ट्रक्शन कमीशनिंग एंड ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस फॉर टेन ईयर्स ऑफ रूरल वाटर सप्लाई और टोटल विलेजेज ऑफ टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन इन द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश फ्रॉम स्टेट वाटर सप्लाई एंड सैनिटेशन मिशन नमामि गंगे एंड रूरल वाटर सप्लाई डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश द अप्रोक्सीमेट एग्रीगेट वैल्यू ऑफ एवर थ्री वाटर प्रोजेक्ट इज रुपीज टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन करोड़ एंड स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू विल बी नोन एट द टाइम ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ एग्रीमेंट आफ्टर प्रिपरेशन एंड अप्रूवल ऑफ ग्रेड प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट The ever projects are to be constructed in 12 months upon approval of DPR and signing of agreement and operated for 10 years post commissioning. As mentioned in the previous earning calls, the company continue to focus on diversification in the project development business to continue the growth momentum without assuming the concentration is. However, given the strong pipeline of upcoming projects. From NHI and MOTH, our focus area would continue to be the road sector. The recent trend of contract awarding in the water sector is very encouraging. We look forward in increasing our presence in the water sector through Jal Jeevan Mission. We believe that a pipeline of projects to remain robust from this mission in the long term. However, the company will focus on consolidated the ongoing water sector project first. At present, at present, the company has a total of 19 projects on PPP format, comprising BOT toll, BOT NOT, OMT, and HAM assets. Out of the 19 projects, we have 11 HAM projects with a total bid project cost of rupees 16,144 crores. From our HAM portfolio of 11 projects, we have achieved COD and PCOD of five projects, and within six are under construction. In terms of equity investment, total requirement for these 11 projects would be around 1,468 crores, out of which we have already invested to be 749 crores till December 21. And the balance will be invested over the next two to three years. The internal equity generated from the next two to three years should be sufficient to fund the total equity investment. Now moving. on to our order book as mentioned earlier the company has focus on diversification of the order book and the results are visible in the current order book our unexecuted order book on 31st december 21 was over rupees 12000 crores by including all the projects for which we have already received letter of award our order book would be over rupees 14300 crores that gives a strong revenue visibility for company over the 2 to 3 years of the total order book of rupees 12000 crore the roads epc contract contributes around 24% road hem projects contribute around 45% and water and irrigation contributes around 31% <coughs> update on gaziabad aligarh project divestment we have signed the share purchase agreement on 1st april 21 with the qi way and as on date we have received noc from all 10 bankers NOC from NHI for change in ownership has also received format formal approvals for final COD and extension of commission concession period on account of reduction traffic are awaited from NHI. We are expecting receipt of consideration from this transaction from QIV upfront on the closing date and our share of agreed unnoted after final rate twenty three. However, the company considered an impairment amounting to rupees 39 crore in its investment in the SPV, 
during the quarter ending 31st December 21. Balance of impairment, if needed, would be considered upon receipt of consideration from QIV, which is, which is expected by the end of financial year 22, and assessment of turnout. Now I would present the results for the quarter ended December 31st, 21. Before discussing financial performance, I would like to share that during quarter 3 of financial year 22, the company has considered an impairment of 39 crore in the investment made in the Gajiva Dadiga Road project and has provided the same under other expenses. We have adjusted the above to make financial performance comparable with the previous corresponding periods. Financial results of standalone and consolidate without considering the impact of impairment. Revenue of third quarter of financial 22 is rupees. 1,500 crore, which is higher by... Ladies and gentlemen, please stay connected. Line for the management of... Participants, please stay connected while we join the management back to the call. Thank you for your patience. We have the line for the management reconnected. So you may go ahead. We can start from financial agent, sir? Uh, sure, sir. Or, or uh, nine months agent. Hello? 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 We can start from uh, result of nine months or uh, from starting financial year. Nine months, nine months, sir. Nine months. Nine. Yeah. 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 Revenue of nine months financial year twenty two is rupees four thousand three hundred eighty eight crore, which is higher by thirty four percent as compared to rupees three thousand two hundred eighty one crore in nine months of financial year twenty one. The EBITDA for 9 months financial year 22 is rupees 602 crore, 602 crore, which is higher by 37 percent as compared to rupees 440 crore in 9 months financial year 21. The EBITDA margin for 9 months of financial year 22 is 13.7 percent. The profit for 9 months of financial year 22 is rupees 349 crore as compared to rupees 233 crore in 9 months of financial year 21, a growth of 50% on year 2 year basis. Console financials for the quarter ended 31st December 21. Console revenue of quarter 3 financial year 22 is rupees 1722 crore as compared to rupees 1582 crore in quarter 3 financial year 21 with a growth of 9%. The console EBITDA for third quarter of financial year 22 is 365 crore. The EBITDA margin for quarter 3 financial year 22 is 21.2 percent. The console paid for quarter 3 financial year 22 is rupees 117 crores. 
कंट्रोल रिवेन्यू ऑफ नाइन मंथ फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू इज रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एटी टू करोड़ कंपेयर टू रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री करोड़ इन नाइन मंथ फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी वन विद ए ग्रोथ ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट दी कंट्रोल एविटा फॉर नाइन मंथ ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू इज रुपीज वन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी थ्री करोड़ विच इंक्रीज बाई टेन परसेंट एज कंपेयर टू रुपीज नाइन नाइन एट नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी एट करोड़ फॉर दी करस्पॉन्डिंग पीरियड लास्ट ईयर The EBITDA margin for nine months financial year 22 is 21.9 percent. The console pack for nine months 22 is rupees 362 crore as compared to rupees 347 crore in nine months financial year 21, a growth of 6 percent. On the standalone balance sheet side, as on 31 December 21, our net working cycle is 96 days. Our net worth on standalone basis is rupees three thousand two hundred and five crores as on thirty first December twenty one. Whereas total standalone debt is rupees three thirty nine crores as on thirty first December twenty one. We do not have any working capital loan. The total cash and bank balance as on thirty first December twenty one is rupees two forty six crore. This translates to net debt to equity of point one one times. <clears throat> on console basis our net worth is rupees 3374 crores whereas total debt is rupees 4421 crores as on 31st december 21 the total cash and bank balance including current investment is rupees 854 crores this translate to net debt to equity of 1.31 times with this we now open the floor for question and answer thank you Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. The first question is from Ronald Webber Singhal from Philip Capital India. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, good afternoon, sir. Thanks for uh, taking my question and congrats on strong executions uh, once again. Uh, sir, my first question was basically on the order inflow in this year. Sir, the past three quarters, me, our order inflow is very weak. Right? I mean, I say hardly any new order, PPC or then ham. and uh, towards the end january mein jaake hum logo ko ye jaldi se mission ka order mila so any specific reason ki uh, throughout the year hum log uh, nhi mein hum log ko koi aur projects etc ya hum nahi mil paye and uh, aapko lagta hai agle 1.5 mahine mein whichever uh, the period is left we will be able to uh, 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 basically uh, capture more order good orders from nhi today yani abhi jo last jo hai nhi mein स्टार्टिंग में कंपटीशन भी काफी था और अभी अभी जो अभी हमने बिट टारगेटेड बिट की वो करीब ट्वेल्व एम प्रोजेक्ट और फाइव ईपीसी और टू टीओटी प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सबमिटेड दैट अमाउंट इज अराउंडिंग सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड करोड़ तो वी आर वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग थ्री फोर बिट्स आउट ऑफ बिट्स ओके और सर ये सारी बिट इसी साल मार्च मार्च तक हो जाएंगी या They all bids are submitted. Yes, yes. Yeah, March se pehle ho jayega. March se pehle ho jayega. March se pehle ho jayega. Yeah, these are these are expected to be opened the financial bid before end of the March. Uh, see, okay. yeah, as you know, the competition has been very very steep and uh, very uh, aggressive uh, because of the mm -hmm. relaxation of widespread relaxation of the uh, qualification criteria as well as the distancing with the uh, bid security. now uh, now the recently the ministry has uh, taken a decision to restore the bid, bid security in the both uh, epc as well as ham bids certainly this will uh, have a effect on the uh, computer this thing um, have a some work as a threshold and work as a barrier so we also see going forward the competition will be subsided but nevertheless whatever bids we have submitted we have submitted total 18 bids of a aggregate value of 17000 crores 
which are under evaluation and which will be opened before end of this financial year. And we expect, as our MD said, uh, nearly around four to five bits, uh, five projects out of these bits. Okay, sir, got it. अगर मैं थोड़ा सा आगे जाऊं सर जैसे इस साल आपने बोला कि कंपटीशन की वजह से हम लोगों को बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स नहीं मिल पाए एंड अभी नेक्स्ट वन एंड हाफ मंथ में हम लोग चार पांच प्रोजेक्ट्स मिल, मिलने की हम लोग को संभावना है बट सर अगले अगर मैं इसको आगे लेता हूं एन एच में तो सर कॉम्पिटिशन और बढ़ता ही जा रहा है तो डू यू थिंक कि एन से हम लोग कंटिन्यूसली इतने ऑर्डर इन ले पाएंगे जिससे हम लोग को कंपनी को एक पंद्रह का ग्रोथ सस्टेनेबल बेसिस मिल पाए एन एच आई ने अपना क्वालिफिकेशन क्राइटेरिया में भी चेंज किया है और अभी तक अनेस्ट बनी हटा दी थी वो अनेस्ट बनी हुई सर्कुलर निकाल ही दिया कल से अभी okay. तो निकला है उसमें तो एम में और उसमें दोनों में क्वालिफिकेशन में काफी चेंज आ गया है तो आगे मुझे लगता नहीं कि बहुत ज्यादा ज्यादा कॉम्पिटिशन का इतना टाइम आएगा जो मेरे ख्याल से जो टाइम था जो लोगों को बिट डालनी थी या नए नए लोगों को आना था तो वो आ चुकी है आगे अवार्ड होने वाला है फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड करोड का प्रोजेक्ट है तो उसमें सर हम इंटरेस्टेड होंगे आप लोग उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे कौन सा प्रोजेक्ट है बता सकते हैं दोबारा सर केन बेटवा में ऑफ रिवर्स में जो पहला प्रोजेक्ट है केन बेटवा लिंक करेंगे लिंकिंग प्रोजेक्ट में रिवर लिंकिंग में बिट करेंगे सॉरी सर उसको हम एवेल्युएट करेंगे अपॉर्चुनिटी को अभी तो इनिशियल स्टेजेस में है सो डेफिनेटली थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you. I request all the participants, please restrict to two questions per participant. If time permit, please come back in the question queue for a follow-up question. The next question is from the line of Parikshit Kandabal from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Congratulations on a decent quarter. So my first question is on JGM project. So if you can tell us uh, out of the 3200 crores order book which was there, so what is the pending order book? And uh, how was the how much was the revenue in nine months and the uh, third quarter of this financial year? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, seeing for to all the listeners, to all the analysts, uh, because this uh, uh, whatever statements we'll be making will be the forward-looking statements. Will not assume any warranty or representation or anything uh, implied or said. And uh, these are subject to uh, all kinds of risk and uncertainties. And also, then uh, any the final actual results would be materially different from what the statements we are making today. So this will be whatever we are talking and whatever we are sharing of information will be subject to the standard disclaimer and safe harbor. Okay. Second thing, when it comes to Jaljivan mission, Jaljivan mission under uh, phase two, we got around uh, 2,476 villages. That is the PNC share. Uh, out of 3,500 villages, we got 3,400 villages. We got so out of 2,476 villages, we already submitted uh, DPR for 2,003 three villages, which roughly translates into 82% of DPRs have been submitted, and we also uh, signed the uh, tripartite agreements DPR approved uh, by the state level uh, committee. Uh, for about uh, 1,077 villages, we already got it. So these out of 1,077 villages, we commenced work at more than 400 villages. So 200 bores already uh, dr drilled, and the remaining uh, the bore bores are underway. And during the first nine months, only we raised bills for the DPR preparation and some uh, boring kind of a thing. So this uh, fourth quarter. We will be doing bidding. We will be doing billing, uh, maybe say around 100 to 150 crores before end of this financial year. And also, we received more than 130 crores mobilization advance from the uh, these things, uh, interest-free mobilization from the Jal Jivan Mission. So, what is the total order book, sir? As of now, nine months order book on the these projects. 
See, nine months after book, we got a project of 2,000. Uh, uh, 2,337 new villages we got. Earlier we have a 4, 2,476. Total we have a 4,813 villages. Okay. So yeah. Second question. So we are considering one crore per village when we prepare the DPR and when we get the DPRs approved. Uh, this is uh, uh, coming on an average of 1.4 crores. So 4,800 crores uh, will roughly translate into uh, more than, uh, I think, around 7,000 crores. But we come to know only once these all DPRs are approved yes. and then we sign the cover agreements. Okay. So my second question is on Aligarh Ghaziabad project. So uh, if you can highlight some numbers, uh, if I remember correctly, we had about including loans and advances, equity, and uh, receivables to be, uh, to be realized from the SPV about 300 crore plus so if you can highlight how that number increased now and this 39 crore write-off is the funding part which we did uh, for this quarter that's why you've taken the write-off you can just highlight on that actually as uh, MD has confirmed that uh, we have received the NOC from all the 10 lenders we have received the change in ownership NOC from uh, NSI and as regards the POD extension of time, which has already been approved and minutes is awaited from NHI, which is expected in the deep time. So as a, after discussing with the auditors, as a conservatively, we have management assess that the amount we have improved on account of the unsecured loan and the debtor, we have provided 10% as an impairment in this quarter. The total amount is, you are saying 390 crores is the total exposure then? Yeah, 390 crore on the account of Sikolo and this uh, uh, debtor. And, and how much how much we're expecting to realize from uh, Cube on this thing, sir? That means about 350 crores we will get after deducting 40 crores. So we should get about 350 odd crores from this? If certain uh, things are still awaited for a stamp that's an unknown package from Cube I and certain uh, from partners. So uh, as soon as you will receive the minutes of the NHI, then uh, settlement and distribution will be clear. So that, uh, that is why uh, uh, Yogeshji has confirmed that uh, we will consider in the FY22 impairment in case if needed or uh, in the FY23 after receiving the earnout. Okay. Got it, sir. Understood. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is? From line of Mayur, from Profit Mark Securities, please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I just want to ask the what is the outlook for the next quarter? Uh, what is your thoughts on that? Thank you. As already informed in the earlier call that this year we are expecting the top line with the growth around 20% and certainly we will achieve. Okay, top sir. line with 20% as compared to FY20%. Okay, Do you have any follow-up question? Uh, no, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Jitin Goshi from Access Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Thanks for taking my question and congratulations on your set of numbers. Sir, so my first question will be on the order backlog breakup project-wise. So I, I would require uh, the order backlog uh, for Delhi Varadara package 31, Delhi Varadara package 29. And there are more orders I will repeat. So if you can tell me one by one, then I can just note it down, sir, please. Package 31 uh, outstanding is 637 crore and uh, package uh, 929 of Baroda is 590 crore. 590, okay. Then, sir, this uh, Purvanchal package 5, 6 and Mumbai Nagpur Expressway? Purvanchal 5 almost completed, it is negligible, and Purvanchal 6 is also around 80, 90 crore rupees. And Mumbai Nagpur? And Nagpur, Mumbai, 110 crore. Okay. And uh, on the uh, the uh, packages of the old packages of Bhojpur, Koliwar, Nagina, Varanasi, uh, what is the status? 
भोजपुर आउटस्टैंडिंग नाइन्टी करोड़ एंड कोलवा एट्टी फाइव करोड़ एंड नगीना काशीपुर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी करोड़ एंड वाराणसी कंप्लीट सॉरी सर 120 ट्वेंटी करोड़ सर नगीना एंड वाराणसी कंप्लीट दिस क्वार्टर इट विल कंप्लीट है इन करेंट क्वार्टर झांसीज जानेवरी no no in the uh, december quarter we have done some execution where there is uh, uh, the water is not released and uh, mm. and uh, again uh, we'll resume the uh, canal works and other things from the first week of march okay so what is the outstanding water backlog then in that project uh, it's around 960 crores 960 ओके 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 एंड सर दिस यूपी वाटर सप्लाई प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ 275 सेवेंटी फाइव करोर विच वी हैड रिसीव वॉट इज दैट ऑर्डर बैटल सर टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड करोड टू थाउजेंड सेवन ओपनिंग लास्ट क्वार्टर इट वॉज टू फिफ्टी फाइव करोड एज सर वी आर नॉट बुक एनी रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम दिस अदर अदर टू यूपी प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ थर्टी टू बिलियन यू विल बी स्टार्ट यू बी बुकिंग रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम यू फोर ऑफ वन हंड्रेड टू वन फिफ्टी करोड़ राइट सर बुकिंग यस यस सर वॉट एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन दी बैलेंस शीट नंबर सो यू कैन गिव मी दी डेटर्स क्रेडिटर्स इन्वेंटरी अनबिल्ड रेवेन्यू रिटेंशन एंड मोबिलाइजेशन एडवांसेस मोबिलाइजेशन एडवांस बाय फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स करोड इन डिसंबर ट्वेंटी वन क्रेडिटर्स इन्वेंटरी रिटेंशन अनबिल्ड इन्वेंटरी एंड क्रेडिटर्स सर हेलो सर वाई इज द डेटर डेज वर हाई लाइक नाइंटी सिक्स डेज इट्स वेरी हाई आई गेस कंपेयर टू यूजल रन रेट सो एनी रीजन वाई और वी आर डन सम लेट बुकिंग विच रिजल्टेड इन हाई डेटर्स Instead of taking the disbursement from lender, we are taking the uh, discounting the bill at the rate of four percent. That is why debtor is slightly higher because of the uh, outstanding in the health budget. So what is that number outstanding? Crore and again fifteen crore, fifteen hundred crore. So nine forty crore is the outstanding from ham projects as on December. Which is sixty one percent of the total debt is out. Total debtors. so this uh, strategy will continue this quarter also that will be not uh, taking in additional debt from the started to take the disbursement you started to take the disbursement okay okay and and, and this sir uh, well, uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, what is the toll collection uh, numbers sir for the projects 
Pole correction in NP highway was 12.8. Okay, this is in crores, right? Sir? Yeah, and OMT project Kanpur Ayodhya is 121.5. Okay. Kanpur highway 36.5. 36.5. Okay. 33.5. 33.5. Okay. Navela is 10.7. Okay. In Bareilly, Almora is 14.30. And Gazi 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 is 64 <coughs> okay, okay. And so KPEX, nine month KPEX and Q4 target and next year KPEX target, sir? And revenue growth and revenue growth guidance next year and margin guidance? So KPEX, uh, we have uh, earlier informed around 125, but in nine months we have taken only 20 crore and we are expecting around 40 to 50 crore by in uh, by 22. And next year? Next year it should be around 125. And what is the uh, revenue guidance for next year? Uh, next year revenue guidance again subject <laughs> to this premise. Uh, we are. Uh, no, we understand that, right? 10 to 15%. And are we bidding for any projects that are done? Uh, this, uh, the subcontracting, are we looking to bid for such projects? Because we are bidding for TOT model, which is again the asset heavy model. So, if you are not participating in the BOT projects of Ganga Expressway, then what is the logic of bidding for this TOT project? And are you interested in taking any contracting offer from RRD and IRD? Uh, that's it from my side. See, uh, actually, the TOT projects are a brownfield project. All the TOT projects are brownfield projects. We have a tangible uh, to toll revenue history. Uh, in oh. case of a Ganga Expressway, being a very greenfield project, and uh, completely in a greenfield alignment, uh, so mm. they, they, we perceive some risk in that, uh, whether the traffic, uh, how the traffic will be diverted from the existing network to this road, mm. and uh, how, how much time it will take to ramp up the traffic. So other mm -hmm. consideration, this is a key consideration with the traffic revenue risk. So we have not... <laughs> But do we, do we are we planning to take any subcontracting work from Adani and IRB for this Ganga Expressway if they if they award any because we are the exporting UP? <coughs> as, as of now, we are not uh, this thing. Uh, so uh, even between a uh, two corporates, so don't want to discuss much. Okay. Thank you very much. Then I'll request to come back in the question queue. A request to all the participants, please restrict to two questions per participant. The next question is from the line of Faisal Hava from HG Hava and Company. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, this is, uh, do we see any kind of risk emerging from you know the high debt levels that uh, NHI is uh, having at this point of time? And uh, could it be a reason for their you know releasing these orders not on time in this financial year also? See, what has happened, uh, see, yeah, yeah, because of the uh, code of conduct uh, mm -hmm. is still in force in Uttar Pradesh, and also they have uh, some uh, five case, uh, the where uh, these projects are located, uh, and also then they are taking evaluation some time, because they also want to appoint the independent engineers uh, before awarding these uh, contracts to the, the concessionaires and the contractors. So this is getting delayed, but we expect uh, the opening of the financial bids as well as the awarding activity will be picked up maybe next one and a half months before end of this financial year, so that the NHA would like to meet their targets. Feel about the high debt levels that NHA is carrying. Could it be a risk to the entire industry? Yeah, this is a very larger issue and I think we don't want to comment on that. Uh, but the being a uh, government authority and also NHA got a loose uh, asset um, and also then they also want to go for a monetization and they also have a other uh, frameworks like Invit and all. So it will be very difficult to comment on that. But as such, we don't foresee any major risk in that aspect. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Shravansha from Dollar Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, most of the uh, uh, questions have been answered. Uh, just trying to uh, again understand uh, 
in terms of the guidance when we are saying 20% for this year so that means uh, we are looking uh, uh, of the growth in the fourth quarter on the top line front is it uh, right? uh, can you come back again uh, sir i am saying that when we are saying that, uh, that we can get a uh, 20% top line growth for this year uh, does that mean we are looking at a sign in the fourth quarter on the top line front See, fourth quarter uh, would be definitely uh, better than the fourth quarter of last financial year, uh, corresponding financial year, uh, financial co corresponding quarter of the uh, last year. And uh, that top line, what we had, what uh, my colleague has mentioned is that 20% minimum. So it would be uh, maybe between 22, 23, or 24 percent kind of a thing. Okay, and, and 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 next year when when we are saying a 15%, so that is based on the assumption that uh, what even if you can repeat in terms of the order inflow, uh, we are expecting four five uh, projects out of uh, 19 bits. So how much is the value of each of these projects, uh, average size, and in 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 general, how much uh, uh, are we targeting to get the order inflow in this uh, one and a half months? Yeah. Uh, See, we have already secured orders worth of 2,700 crores, and uh, as we had earlier mentioned, our total expected order inflow for the current financial year would be 8,000 crores. Since we already got 2,700 crores, we, we are looking forward to have an order of around 4,000 to 5,000 crores before end of this current financial year. Okay, and then 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 uh, as it, it is it is uh, slightly on the lower side. So next year uh, uh, we can we can look at uh, ten thousand plus crore and because for to sustain the growth of fifteen percent we need a sizable order inflow uh, 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 or rather we need to keep on increasing the order inflow uh, from FY twenty three onwards. So just trying to understand if that is the case, uh, are we only looking at the road as a, as a case because previously we are looking at uh, airport and uh, uh, other also. So now, as we said in water, uh, we will be first now consolidating. So, are we looking further order inflow in the uh, water also, or only the road that would be the driving 70, 80 percent of order inflow? And there also, how much are we now comfortable to look at the ham projects as a, as a inflow for this out of this four to five thousand crore? And for next year also, how much uh, uh, we can take uh, 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 ham projects? Sir, uh, our uh, road sector portfolio, even in the order flow, also we are expecting around 70 to 75 percent from the road sector, because that will continue to be our focus area and focus sector. And whatever orders we will be expecting from the uh, roads and highways would be on a 50-50 basis kind of a thing. So we, we always look forward to have a 50 percent ham projects and 50 percent ADC projects, so that um, uh, the, there is a balance between the fund-based and non-fund-based projects. And gel given mission, since because government has already allocated 60,000 crores in the FI23 for the gel given mission, so many other state governments uh, will also come, come and also it is expected the fourth phase also will come from, in, from the Uttar Pradesh. So there also we look forward to have a uh, bit for the, in case a good opportunities are there in the gel given mission. But as our managing director has mentioned, before embarking on the new projects, whatever projects we got 4,800 villages, we want to consolidate them. We want to submit the DPRs and start the work over those projects before uh, venturing into the further scope. But definitely in FI23, we have another uh, 13 months from now. So we look forward to having projects in that. But in case of the airport sector, we also uh, have it because of the lot of synergy between the roads and the airports, particularly airside payments and all. So we also see if good opportunities are there, EPC opportunities are there in the airport sector, we do it. Okay, and sir, uh, just if you can help me in terms of the uh, asset monetization. So previously we said that uh, uh, we were looking at uh, uh, five ham and one NUT project, so where 680 crore equity has invested. So where are we, uh, uh, will it be a, a direct sale or in wait form, uh, how much time it will take, when when can we see the uh, announcement. Uh, and at the same time, in terms of the, this water continuing to on that part, uh, so so the previous three water projects is 3,500 odd crore, and you, I think, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 
uh, you mentioned that in terms of the DPR post that uh, does that uh, uh, value can uh, increase uh, sizably in terms of uh, after finalizing the DPR and broadly how much uh, revenue are we looking at in FY23 from this 3,500 odd crore? Uh, uh, the difference is uh, once the DPR gets finalized, uh, there will be increase in the estimate. Now we are assuming that one crore per village. Uh, this can go up to 1.3, 1.4 crore on an average to village. So there will be around 30 to 40 percent increase in the uh, value of this water project. And uh, whatever this first uh, phase, we have 2,476 villages. It roughly translates to, to 3,000 crores. So 50 percent of that we are expecting in FK20. So it roughly comes to around 1,500 crores. May, it may further increase, but uh, it will be around 1,500 crores execution in FK20. Uh, that's a great. And now on the asset monetization front, of five ham and one annuity. Yes, sir, we have received the three proposal for monetization, which are still under evaluation. We should be able to take a decision on this before the end of FY22, followed by the due line by the retrospective buyer. Uh, so are we only looking at direct sale and not the invit format, or that is that option is also available? Yeah, yeah, that option is also available, uh, but uh, we see the kind of valuation we are getting, which uh, finally will be getting from these uh, proposals what we receive. So then the final call, we will take a call uh, before end of this financial year accordingly. So, so broad timeline in terms of getting our equity back, uh, is it uh, fair to say that FY23 uh, may not we see uh, some uh, any kind of inflow coming back in terms of the equity? Coming back, it, it most likely would be in the FY24. Uh, is it a right understanding? Yes, largely it is a right understanding. Thank you. So, it and Rabbi Shravan, I'll request you to come back in the question queue. I request all the participants, please restrict to two questions per participant. If time permits, please come back in the question queue for a follow up question. The next question is from the line of Alok Devara from Motilal Oswal. Please mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, good afternoon and uh, congratulations on decent quarter. Uh, just uh, so a lot of questions are already answered. Uh, just one question on the TOT bidding. So uh, just wanted to understand the strategy there because how how much of these kind of asset heavy projects we are willing to take? Uh, because uh, you know a few quarters back we have mentioned that we are not looking at any sort of a toll projects. So now that we are looking to bid for TOT projects, which has a very long term kind of toll collection. So uh, how much of this would we are looking to keep as a part of our overall order book going forward? Yeah, uh, this uh, particularly what out of three TOT bundles, um, bundle six, bundle seven, and bundle eight, uh, we bid for two bundles. Uh, as you know, the bundle six is virtually in our backyard. Uh, it is Agra bypass. So there we, we know that we know about the project. In fact, we executed EPC of that project. So with certain concentrations, we will bid for that. And in case of a TOT bundle 7, where we got a one-year uh, user fee collection uh, contract for a one year, so there we have the highest bidder and uh, we got the project and we started to collection from 1st of January. There also we got a, uh, some better first-hand information. So with that, we done. But in a long-term strategy, we are not looking uh, at a TOT as the uh, kind of uh, area where we will be pursuing, uh, but these two we are building uh, with uh, some specific uh, regions and also which are very close to our um, uh, area of business and the center of our uh, operations. Sure. And, uh, and uh, the water project which we won very recently, when is that expected to start? Water projects, what we got it in the month of January, 2,337 projects. Now we are expecting the list of villages uh, by provided by Jaljeevan, uh, this state water uh, mission, by March. Then, then we'll have a three months time to uh, prepare the DPRs for, uh, and getting the DPRs approved. So it can, you can say by till end of June. Uh, once the DPRs get approved, then we will commence these projects, uh, we can say, from the Q2 of FI23. Sure. So, so uh, uh, large part would come in the second half of uh, FI23 in terms of revenue. Yes. 
initially when we start the project then there will be some enabling works and other things and all boring so the substantial execution will start from the h2 of uh, fi 2 oh, oh. uh, yeah that's all from my side sir thank you thank you the next question is from the line of Pariyani, which Vinay Kumar, Vijay Kumar, from Spark Capital Advisors, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, my question is on this Jal Jeevan Mission projects. If the final project uh, cost or value is not finalized, based on what is this order uh, awarded, the 2337 L1, so that is uh, just an initial estimate and it uh, will change after your DPR preparation. Is that the understanding? Yes, 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 it is an initial estimate of 2337. Initial estimate says one crore per village, uh, subject to uh, preparation and approval of the DPS. Right, and uh, still the L1 mechanism is what is uh, used to award these projects, right? Yeah, yeah. See, these projects are awarded based on there is a set of BOQs there. Uh, and uh, then on those rates, one has to be the plus or minus kind of a thing. So whoever quotes the lowest, the bids are awarded. And based on the quantities of the DPR, these uh, already pre-agreed BOQ rates are applied. And then accordingly, project cost is decided for each village. Understood. So how is the cost pass-through mechanism in this uh, uh, general mission projects? Would we have any problems due to the material cost increases? See, in the phase two, we have a escalation provision for the regime. In, in case of any increase in the HDP, HDP material, there is an escalation <laughs> provision there in the phase two. Uh, but uh, in the phase three, that provision, they have removed it. Uh, otherwise, there is no provision for the escalation in the gel mission. But the rates, whatever uh, rates, uh, BOQ rates or whatever, so it has considered some kind of a escalation factor in that. So any increase in the, uh, any steep increase or any unexpected increase in the basic rate in food uh, material, uh, it will have uh, some uh, pressure on the margin. But uh, there is some already, something is already increasing in these rates. Uh, what will be the typical mix of uh, uh, components in a project, like uh, how much percentage of cost would be, say, pipes, pumps, uh, electrical works, and civil works? I don't have the readily the breakup, so we can share you separately. And what are the kind of margins we are expecting in these projects, sir? Uh, including or you know, uh, ex, you know uh, 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 including some uh, margin pressure, say, in the next one year. Something around it will be something around 14 percent debit a month. Sure. Okay, that's it from my side. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I will I will probably get in touch with you on this uh, uh, water uh, water project. Some okay. script. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The next question is from the line of a voice single from Philip Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, Governor. Thanks for taking my question again. Uh, sir, there are two questions. One, a bookkeeping question. What is the outstanding order value of Lucknow Ring Road in the order book? Lucknow Ring Road. It is 704. 704. Right, sir. Uh, so just one last question from my side. Uh, sir, as you said, in the past few months, the competitive intensity was very high. Thi. इस वजह से हमारे प्रोजेक्ट्स भी कम मिले हमको और अभी हम और एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं लास्ट इन द नेक्स्ट 45 डेज सर क्या हम अपने आप को कंस्ट्रेन कर रहे हैं इन बिडिंग फॉर प्रोजेक्ट्स ओनली इन द नॉर्थ एंड सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया बिकॉज़ 9 महीने में हमने देखा एटी में वाइजाक में ऑर्डर्स अवार्ड हुए केरला में ऑर्डर्स आ रहे हैं तमिलनाडु में आ रहे हैं हम हमने भी पहले हम ऑब्वियसली मुंबई नागपुर भी कर रहे हैं और हमने कर्नाटक में भी प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे हैं बट मैं अगर अपनी ऑर्डर बुक देखता हूं तो हमारी ऑर्डर बुक मेजॉरिटी आज की तारीख में भी यूपी एमपी राजस्थान गुजरात इन सब और बिहार इन सब स्टेट्स में ही है तो क्या साउथ सदर्न स्टेट्स में जाने में वी आर ट्राइंग टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट आर सेल्स एंड बिट फॉर ओनली इन द नॉर्थ एंड सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया और इज इट जस्ट कौन से ऐसी बात नहीं है अभी हम साउथ में भी दो तीन स्टेटों में काम कर रहे हैं महाराष्ट्र से जैसे कर्नाटका महाराष्ट्र आंध्रा तेलंगाना काम कर रहे हैं और बिट भी किए हैं 
लेकिन अभी जो बिट का बिट जो मैक्सिमम जो बिट बिट थी वो काफी पंजाब नॉर्थ में भी बिट थी पंजाब में थी हरियाणा थी लेकिन बिट ऐसा नहीं है कि कंपटीशन बिट में ही हुआ बाकी जो टारगेटेड बिट थी हमारी कुछ जो बिट सबमिट हो गई ओपन नहीं हुई तो जो कुछ इसमें ओपन होना चाहिए और सभी जगह ऑल ओवर इंडिया में बिट कर रहे हैं एक्सेप्ट केरला एक्सेप्ट केरला स्पेसिफिक रीजन सर केरला में नहीं कर रहे हैं केरला में जस्ट ज्यादा अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस नहीं था पहले इसलिए ठीक है सर थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक्स फॉर आंसर माय क्वेश्चन एंड विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ उत्तम कुमार श्रीमन फ्रॉम एक्टर जोड़ी स्पीच फॉर या थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड कांग्रेचुलेशन ऑन गुड सेट ऑफ नंबर्स सर कैन यू गिव द ब्रेक अप ऑफ इक्विटी इन्वेस्टमेंट इन हैम व्हाट हैज बीन Uh, how much we uh, we have invested uh, in this year, and the uh, balance uh, that we will invest in this year, and the bifurcation uh, bifurcation for the next two years in the ham project. Actually, we require a one thousand four hundred seventy crore total equity in eleven ham project. Out of that, seven hundred fifty crore we have already infused in the summer. The remaining is seven hundred twenty crore we have to infuse in the in this quarter and next two years. Okay, and sir, how much will be invested in the fourth quarter? Fourth quarter around 200 crore. Average only 220 crore, and average 20 crore around 200 crore. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. That's all from us, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Parvez Abdul Kazi from Middlewise Securities. Please go ahead. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, and thanks for taking my question. Uh, so overall, just wanted to get your views on the impact of commodity prices on uh, uh, our margins for the ham project execution that we are doing uh, at a blended level. What is the kind of margins that we will see, let's say, in FY23? Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, EPC work. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, the margin EPC work that we do on ham project. It will be between 13 to 14 percent. Okay, and uh, sure, thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line Prem Kurana from Anandrati. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for taking my questions and uh, congratulations on a decent set of numbers this quarter. uh so just a small clarification on this water supply orders in uttar pradesh uh, you said i mean that the cost estimate could change from 1 to 1.2 1.3 or 1.4 watt crore rupees per village uh, i am assuming i mean this variation would essentially be because of change in the boq and not the price that you would have given for each of these items that you need to use am i right in my understanding yes sir sir that basically oh. boq rates are uh, whatever is the uh, Agreed to uh, increase in the quantities will result in the uh, increase in the overall cost of the products. So sure. The rates will remain same. Sure. And could there be a situation wherein, let's say, I mean, you submit a DPR with certain uh, amount, I mean, a number in terms of BOQ that you would be required to use, and the authority was not to agree with that quantity and make you go back your estimates because essentially, so let's say, I mean. assuming uh, there is a loophole right i mean at the time of bidding i could quote a number in terms of boq which is low and then suddenly go and revise that number so you could uh, at the time of you at the time of uh, quoting the thing we are only quoting for the rates uh, we okay. are quoting for the items uh, because in fact these items and rates are so fixed we are only quoting uh, plus or minus percentage so subsequently the quantities what we are for we are based on this site surveys and site studies mm-hmm. we are arriving the quantities for each village and then we are preparing the dpr only sure. after approval of the dpr only we will start the execution so there won't be any kind of a differences later because they will approve the dpr they will approve the quantity for each item and the rate what was pre decided that will be applied and then execution will be undertaken accordingly so they won't sure. be any different because we will uh, whatever dpr were submitting they are all duly approved 
sure no no i understand that so i was wondering i mean could there be a situation so we've not had that situation till this time but could there be a situation where you give a certain number in terms of boq and the authority says no i mean this is not the right number i mean it is possible to be able to do it for a lesser quantity could there be a situation i understand i'm you've not had that issue till this time there are issued guideline for uh, each item and each dpr yeah, yeah dpr and they their set guidelines are there we are preparing uh, dprs based on those guidelines Sure, sir. Sure, uh, understand this. And on on cash side, our cash balance has come down this quarter. Is it possible to explain and uh, this 250 odd crore rupees of cash reduction on a sequential basis? Uh, what would explain this? Because when I look at our net working capital cycle, uh, it, it, it essentially seems I mean it is lower than last quarter, which essentially means I mean working capital may we would not have infused any significant money. So 95 crores I understand is the equity infused. So what would uh explain the balance around 160 odd crore rupees of reduction in uh, uh the cash balance and i told you that uh, we have not taking the disbursement uh, mm. from of our hemp project because okay. of the non utilization of the working capital limit that is why slightly it is uh, reduced uh, accordingly that the data the data the amount has also increased to the extent Okay. In case we take in the reserve bank, certainly the cash and bank balance is increased. Sure, sure. Uh, and sir, uh, just uh, on this, you gave credit as number. Would you be able to kind of repeat that number again, please? Uh, it is six twenty nine day, six twenty nine crore with the eighty days later uh, date. Six twenty nine crore, yeah. Later, 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 later. Payable. Okay. Six twenty nine crore. Oh, sir. Sure. Thank you, uh, and all the very best for future. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Amrita, Amrita Manager. Please go ahead. Amrita Manager. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, my question is regarding uh, what you mentioned about uh, the change in the qualification criteria. Uh, for the NHI awarding, so uh, when uh, when is this uh, applicable uh, applicable of these uh, qualification uh, changing uh, the criteria? As in, is is it going to impact or is it sorry, is it going to benefit uh, in the Q4 or will it be from the Q1 of FY23 onwards? Uh, this will be see the real effect of this change uh, reintroduction of EMD. Uh, bid security and also then rationalization of qualification will have a the real will have a this positive impact on the Q1 of next financial year. Okay, and uh, what is how is the awarding activity uh, in the Q4 right now? I think uh, in the in Jan and Feb been. See, till uh, in Jan and Feb the, the awarding activity will subdue because there are the elections are going in the five states. And some other regions, what I had mentioned earlier, but what we see is that the awarding activity definitely will be picked up during the March, uh, before end of the current financial year. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from Raina Kalpit Narvikar from Allianz Global Investors. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, Thanks for taking my question and congratulations for a decent quarter. Uh, my first question was, uh, uh, in terms of the 15-20 crores of top line that you did in this quarter, do you think there was some uh, some loss in terms of execution because of monsoons or because of UP elections? Say some sides had some rallies or something for you. Is there any? uh do you think the execution could have been higher in this quarter because of that and also do you think that fourth quarter will have some impact on execution due to the elections particularly in the up uh, the projects in up no 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 see uh, the elections in up uttar pradesh will not have any uh, significant impact on their execution because uh, i would say no no impact at all and uh, in q3 there was a slightly uh, you can say in compared to q2 q3 there was a uh, reduction of a few crores 
because in Q2 what has happened uh, some major projects we achieved the final COD uh, are in, including Purvanchal Expressway and all these things. So before the achieving the final COD, some there was part in the activities and uh, to achieve the final COD's uh, the, the execution has been expedited and uh, that's why we could able to uh, achieve higher income in Q2 and when compared to Q3. Otherwise, uh, for a few crores, kind of a difference, there is no specific reason uh, for the thing. And we don't foresee any problem with the elections even in Q4 also. Yes, sir. And my second question is again related to the same thing. Uh, in terms of your exposure to uh, UP state, so if, uh, so uh, the, uh, do you have any, uh, so what would be a percent uh, what would be the order book exposure to say upada uh, on the road side and also on this water side uh, 50% is funded by the state right so uh, do you see any sort of receivable impact on these projects uh, so yeah do you see any impact on uh, on getting payments from these agencies given that elections are happening so firstly, how much exposure and secondly, is there any risk in terms of getting payments on these projects, right, from UP state? First thing, uh, this Jaljeevan mission have a 50% for And also, we don't foresee any funding program for the UPDA, whatever the small amounts are left out. And as of now, the exposure kind of a thing, UPDA, I don't think that the UPDA is uh, launching any new project as of now, as on day. So we'll see uh, once, uh, in case any new opportunities comes up. Otherwise, we don't see any funding problem in UP. Great, sir. That's very helpful. Thank you so much. And good luck. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Parishit Karnapal from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. So my question is uh, on the bid, you said you have received three offers for your ham assets. So last time I remember you had said there were five ham assets and one BOT assets uh, with total equity investment of about 6.7 billion, uh, which you were expecting bids. So is the amount same now, the 670 crores? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yes, the amount is yes. Five hand okay. uh, which we achieved the CVD. And this Aligarh Gazebad is not included in this, right? Yeah, that is not included. That's not included. That is over and above this. So, so if we go for monetization and if these things go through, so we are expecting at least more uh, somewhere around thousand crores of inflows to come in over the next year, FI twenty three. Yes. Okay. Great, sir. My second question is on mobilization advance uh, received from JJ models. So what interest rate uh, have we got these uh, mobilization advance at? In mobilization advance, uh, in mobilization. No, Jaljeevan mission phase two, there is no interest on the mobilization advance. It's interest rate uh, in mobilization advance. Yeah, it's a 10% of the um, approved DPR cost interest rate. Okay. So, uh, another question also, you said that uh, this uh, total villages, uh, 2476 is what you had got in the uh, earlier, last, the orders which you have got earlier. So, in the order book, you have only included 2476 crores or you have uh, uh, revised it to that 1.3 or 1.4 factor while in this 12,000 crores? As of now, we are still maintaining that 2476 only in the order book. Uh, and also the new order also... You corrected in the March. We'll in the end March. of March. Yeah, yeah. Once this RDPR is approved, so then we'll uh, revise this order book number in the before end of the March, in the Q4 quarter. So total 4,800 crores is what, like including the giant orders, you have, uh, you are reporting it, which has an upside of 2,200 crores once on the orders get approved. So 7,000 crore number comes from there. Right? Around 7,000. Maybe slightly, maybe 5% like that. So, and lastly, sir, on, you said that 1500 crores revenue will come from the old orders of 2476 villages. And you said the new set of orders will start contributing from second half of next financial year. So, that itself should add another 700 or 800 crores. So, 
isn't it right to expect that next year we should have about 20,000 to 2,300 crores of contribution from JGM models? See, uh, see, as of now, we are estimating around 1,500 crores of contribution. Uh, some once uh, uh, this uh, DPRs are prepared for the new orders and then these DPRs get approved and all. So how some how timelines and all. So we will able to tell you the what will be the figure uh, maybe going forward during the first or second quarter of next year. But as of now we are maintaining it as a 1500 the total order book. Just the last thing sir on the political risk now there is election election going on. So, do you perceive any risk uh, from that uh, to our execution if there is any change of government or change on guard? So, do you think these programs will continue, or do you think because now water is almost seven thousand crores of the order book, which is almost half of the order book? So, do you think any risk there? Because Anita, I understand will continue, but more on the water side, do you think uh, the state government is there will change? Does can it impact the execution? So, it will not impact. We think. Okay. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. The percent is uh, given by the central government in this generation. Thank you very much. And now I hand the conference over to Mr. Mohit Kumar for closing comments. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining in. We would like to thank the management for giving us the opportunity. I will hand over the call to management for closing remarks. Over to you, sir. thank you everyone for your participation in our running call we have uploaded the presentation of our company's website in case of further queries you may get in touch with the strategic growth advisor our investor relations advisor or feel free to get in touch with us thank you very much thank you thank you thank you very much on behalf of vm capital advisors limited that concludes this conference thank you for joining us you may now disconnect your lines thank you thank you